My mind's telling me no But my body My body's telling me yeah Black here, and welcome back to another installment of the Skulls General Reviews Month event, in which today I am going to be reviewing the Target Novelization Hardback of the Invasion. Let us begin this Target Novelization review by taking a look at the cover art. We have Doctor Who and the Invasion of Time, Invasion of Time, Terence Dix, uh, and then there we've got the a rather good uh, painting of the Fourth Doctor. Uh, with all sorts of gears and cogs and a sontaran in the background um, uh, also against this sort of black uh, background and then for the spine we have uh, W.H. Allen D from a library uh, Terence Dix and Doctor Who and the Invasion of Time and then for the bank we just have a blank red board and what price I paid this for this book at Dimensions and then for the interior of this book we have um, a, a the blurb, um, a sticker from when somebody bought this book for £5.50 a while ago, ISBN number and various um, uh, ex-library crap. Uh, so we have the blurb and then a little quote from uh, British Book News. A traitor to the Time Lords. Can the Doctor really be in league with the evil Vardens? spearheading a treacherous invasion of his home planet, Gallifrey. Or is he playing a deadly double game or is by saving saving the Time Lords by appearing to betray them? But the Vardens themselves are only pawns in the game, as the Doctor faces an old and deadly enemy as he battles the foil, the invasion of time. Turn to Dex is a skillful professional storyteller. He has a deftly recaptured the programme's popular blend of hectic menace and humorous self-mockery, British Book News. And then, then we have uh, Doctor Who and the Invasion of Time. <coughs> About sneeze there. Fucking fly. Piss off. Um, then there we've got uh, various um, copyright... <coughs> the bastard nearly went in my mouth. What are you doing? Um, we've got other titles in the um, Doctor Who book range. Um, Doctor Who and the Invasion of Time, based on the British uh, BBC television serial by David Agnew, by Regiment of the British Broadcasting Corporation, Terence Dix, uh, Cleveland County Libraries, uh, other copyright, other uh, ex library gaff, a children's book from W.H. Allen, London, a Howard and Windham Company, 1979. Then uh, there we've got various copyright goof. Uh, and then we have a contents of this book, which is a which is just all the chapters and stuff. Uh, and this is a 135 page long Doctor Who book spread across 15 chapters. Uh, and then there we've got various blank pages at the back, uh, and then a bit about tone sticks and where this book was printed in, which is Great Britain. Uh, and now for my own personal thoughts and opinions and the general consensus on this target novelization of the invasion of time. This, uh, well, as for the general consensus of this book, it's extremely mixed, with an average rating of 3.55 out of 5, with every type of review imaginable, 2 stars, 3 stars, 4 stars, etc. 
on this rare occasion, I personally agree with the general consensus. One of the biggest problems with Lung Barrow was that it was very disjointed and all over the place for the majority of it. For me, this book suffers the same thing. In terms of the TV story, I personally despise it. Of the two main plot lines to it, the Valden one was my favourite and the Santaran one my least. Here it's the complete opposite. In its adaptation, the Varden plotline somehow is somehow even more mediocre than the original, mainly because it's extremely disjointed. All scenes in it don't really come together and gel for me. Personally, it just feels like lots of different plots happening at, at the same time. Similar thing with Lung Barrow, it eventually gets there, just when it ends, it just when it ends weirdly enough. It feels as if Terence Dix didn't know how to write or care about this plotline. I'm personally going for the latter because the actual Sontaran plotline is, believe it or not, pretty incredible. The final 40-50 to 50 pages in which this plot is contained is without the question the highlight of this entire book. It is an intensely written, tight, well thought out epic of a finale and is some of the best target material Terence Dix has written in my opinion which makes the book which makes this book more disappointing for me personally because it's a shame a 50 page section of a 150 page book is backed up uh, or because a it's such a shame that a 150 page section of a 150 page book is backed up with such a lacklustre first 100 overall i found this book not necessarily hard but more annoying to rate the last third of this book is just brilliant in my opinion as and if the rest was like this I'd give this target novelization a solid 9. However, because I found the first, 500, first 100 pages so lacklustre and meh, I feel that I cannot give this book any more than a 6 out of 10. This is quite a disappointment because I have always been enthralled to a some extent by a turn, a turn sticks book. Every single one I have read other than this all at least gets 7 out of 10. On top of that, he's written one of my favourite original fiction books of all time and my all time favourite target novelization. Personally, I wouldn't really recommend this target novelization overall, and I'll say though that there are far better things Terence Sticks has written out there. And that pretty much concludes my this installment of the Scottish and the Reviews Month event, in which today I reviewed the Invasion of Time W. H. Allen hardback. So like, that, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Pitch gold black, dematerializing. <laughs>